In this Masters of Brass segment, we would like to acquaint our viewers with a very special pair of musicians who are both trumpet players, both studio and jazz musicians, and who both just happen to be brothers. We caught up with Chuck and Bob Finley during their spring 2009 European tour with James Last, one of the great icons of German easy listening music. From the yearly pit at the Academy Awards, Chuck once played the entire lead book on slide trumpet, by the way, to earlier stints with the Dorsey Brothers bands, Buddy Rich, and even Herb Alpert's T1 and Brass, Chuck and Bobby Finley have been mainstays in the Los Angeles music and recording industry since the late 1960s. Chuck is probably one of the most recorded trumpet players of all time and an extremely gifted soloist. Bobby, a Carmine Caruso disciple, is the torchbearer of the master brass teacher's philosophy today. Besides their music, what's so special about this pair is their warm brotherly connection. Life is about love, respect, music, and solid family values. It's an honor to welcome Chuck and Bob Finley to Masters of Brass. Okay, it's a super pleasure to have both of you here today for our Masters of Brass uh, series. Bobby and Chuck Finley, thank you very much for your time today, gentlemen. You're welcome. Thank you, John. We're very, very... I'm totally excited that you're here. <laughs> our dad, by taking my brother to take lessons, and learned the fingering. He was, my father was a very, very intelligent man. He was a really brilliant man. He learned the fingering just from going to the lessons. So now when it was my turn to play, and he would put me on his lap, and he would finger it, and he'd say, play so-and-so song, and I'd, I'd just go play it, and he would finger it for me, because I didn't know the fingering yet. And the first tune I learned was um, uh, Idaho. <laughs> now, I don't know if you know the song <laughs> Idaho, but that's not, little, you know, Mary Had a Little Lamb. No, no. <laughs> that's <laughs> Idaho. It's ba 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 we da 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 da. Once again, the same thing. A A, and then the bridges. B do de da bo de da da da. Ba bo de da bo be da bo de da de. Okay. Well, that it's kind of like playing. I mean, that that bridge is not an easy bridge, and that's the first song I ever learned. But I didn't finger it. My dad did. The first band I played on, and I thought I was a hot shot. This was Ralph Martiri's band. My gosh, in in out of Chicago. And I, man, I had an ego. I was puffed up, corded soloist, all that stuff, you know. Uh -huh. I played one note with that band, and I thought, oh, my God, I'd never, this, this, that was a loud That band. was when there was two, and, there were two lead books. So. And I was playing the ballad lead book in this band, and I'm telling yeah. you, man, I was in trouble from, from hello. <laughs> yeah, the swing lead but, book would be much better because there's a, you know, well, places breathe. to breathe and things. Yeah. You know, but when you're playing the ballad lead yeah. book. Was, but it was a wake-up call, know. and, and uh, I was able to rally the... Plus, he wasn't a nice rally. man either, I heard. Nah, but you know, none of the band leaders in those days were very nice men. There was a culture of, uh, of um, well, Glenn Miller was, had stories told about him, Tommy Dorsey certainly did, mm -hmm. uh, Benny Goodman. You know, all of those guys, they... Mm -hmm. I think a certain amount of it is necessary to keep uh, a herd of cats together. Mm. You know, it's not easy to herd cats <laughs> unless no. you have a rocking. Machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but these guys, but I think some of it was. That, but the stories, though, through the years, they yeah. get popped. 